Hey, this is Travis from Three Corners Farm. Today we've been working on Trevor's tiny house, and what we're going to do is do an air pressure check on the water system to make sure we don't have any uh, loose fittings, or if we missed one of the clamps on the PEX pipe. So what I did was I went to the hardware store, and I took the uh, regular female half inch to half inch barb for the PEX pipe, and found a bushing that went from half inch to three eighths and then another bushing that was a three eighths to a quarter because you had to get to a quarter inch for this valve for your it's like a tire valve and we're going to use this gauge with the little hook on here and this will actually latch on and i'll be able to watch the pressure on this gauge and once we fill it up and put about 30 pounds worth we'll let it sit overnight and come back and see if the gauge moved if it dropped then i have a leak somewhere and then we'll have to try to figure it out and we can go around spraying water or, or soap water on the fittings. But for now, we're just going to look up and see if we missed anything. See, it just locks on so I don't have to worry about it. And you hear, I actually have a leak over there. So I'm going to go check my fittings and see if I'm missing uh, getting one clamp and we'll try it again. One of the fittings in the shower that I did yesterday, I didn't get clamped. Alright, so I got that clamped. We're going to try again. Let me make, make sure this is on tight. So, my, my other leak is here on the very bottom where I put the... This, there's a cap here at the bottom that I was using. Um, I gotta tighten it up, so I'm gonna go grab some plumber tape and we'll tighten up this bottom fitting. Alright, so yesterday we ended off with finding we had some air leaks here with these fittings not getting the top and bottom all the way tight, and then only took a little turn. And then my camera died, so I didn't have any more filming, but I found I had another air leak at this bottom T, which, you know, I just had to break it off. And then I put a new hose and new clamp on and now it's holding. And how I removed the clamp is with this old school fence pliers because it has this nice little notch here that that clamp uh, piece fits on. And once you clamp it, you just start twisting and then it broke it. It worked the same way as one of those tools at the store that you pay 30, 40 bucks with. But it's something I have laying around. And I actually use this tool for all types of of the projects but now I filled it up with 32 pounds and it's been holding and I've had it here for over 15 minutes it hasn't moved as an extra step I took a bottle of soap water and sprayed air all the fittings between here and the bathroom just to make sure I didn't have any leaks and everything seems to be working so for this little setup here with this little valve we're gonna leave it here so that anytime we want to clean out the system we can especially if we want to move the house and when we if we want to add another faucet or maybe an outside spigot we'll be able to do a test before we turn the water on hopefully this helps you out with setting up a pressure test for your own pex pipe you can use it in tiny house or regular houses anytime you're doing any work you want to test it before you turn the water on this is much safer than having water spill all over your floors or walls especially if you're working in a tight space Hopefully you liked the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll do some more as we work on this tiny house. See ya.